This is paper one, and this is problem number ten. And the question is, an arithmetic sequence has a first term A and a common difference D. So if we were to go 5, 7, um, 9, 11, you get this idea, this is A, this is A plus 2, A plus 2 times 2, uh, A plus 3 times 2. Does that kind of make sense? So this is A, this is A plus D, this is A, uh, A plus 2D, A plus 3D. You're okay with that? So it says term 3, 4, and 7. So term number 3 is A plus, this is the first term, second term, third term, fourth term. What do you notice about these coefficients? They're one less, right? So what I have here is A plus the third term is 2D. A plus the fourth term is A plus 4D. Fifth, the seventh term is A plus 6D. Good? Okay, good. So that's the setup for the arithmetic part. Now they're saying this is a weird function, weird series. This, this, and then this are going to be geometric as well. They're first, second, and third. So if I went 2, 4, 8, 16, 8 over 4 is equal to 4 over what? 2, right? So I can take this a plus 6d and divide by a plus 3d. And that ratio, just like 8 over 4, is going to be equal to the ratio uh, a plus 3d over a plus 2d. That's the big move on that one. Does it kind of make sense? If you're doing the... All right, so then the next thing you want to do is to solve those. So cross-multiply those. So you're going to cross-multiply those, and you'll get this a squared, a squared plus 8d plus 12d squared, and so on. And then you can cancel things out, and you're just going to get 2a equal to negative 3d. And so then a is going to be negative 3 halves d. Now here's the key part to this one. The key to this one is if, and that's what you're asked to show for part, part a, right? For part b it says show that the fourth term, the next term, of the geometric sequence is the 16th term of the arithmetic. So the 16th term, no problem, that's just going to be a plus 15 times d. Isn't that the 16th arithmetic? Is that good for that? Now to get that geometric one, and I think this is kind of cool, <laughs> actually, is here's what the first one was. a, which we've substituted for negative 3 halves d, I'm going to write it here. a plus 2d is the first term. a plus 3d is the next term. a plus 6d is the following one. And then we're going to substitute a for negative 3 halves d. Right here. Plus 2d. Negative 3 halves d plus 3d. Negative 3 halves d plus 6d. Get common denominators here. This is going to be 4 over 2, 6 over 2, 12 over 2, and 4 halves d minus 3 halves d is 1 half d. 6 halves d minus 3d is 3 
halves d. And then 12 minus 3 is 9 halves d. What do you see happening to get this next term? Something halves d. What's it going to be? What's happening to the coefficient of d as you go? Forget about the half. You're multiplying by 3, aren't you? That's what geometric means. So then this is just going to be what the 27d. So um, 27d over 2 is your fourth geometric term. And I remember A was negative 3 halves D. Right? So let's see. Negative 3 halves D plus 30 halves D. Is that equal to 27 halves D? You just proved it. And that's number 10 of the paper, paper one.